Hi everyone! So ngayong araw, ang ituturo ko naman sa inyo ay kung papaano gumawa ng napakadaling super moist chocolate cake. Siyempre, pwedeng-pwede yung ipangnegosyo, kagaya ng ginagawa na ng karamihan sa inyo sa ating milky cheesy donuts at empanada. At higit sa lahat, pwedeng-pwede yung gawin ito para sa darating na Mother's Day. So let's start with the icing. For the icing, kailangan mo ng 2.5 cups of cream. I'm using heavy cream, pero kung wala kang makitang heavy cream or namamahalan ka sa heavy cream, pwede kang gumamit ng all-purpose cream. Bubuksan ko yung apoy, ilalagay ko lang sa medium, and then ilalagay ko yung aking heavy cream. Tinatawag natin tong icing na to na ganache. Pero itong aking ganache uh, recipe na pinapakita sa inyo ngayon ay medyo soft or runny ganache. Para pag kinain mo yung cake, very gooey and moist. So, ilagay natin lahat ng cream. Two and one half cups of cream. And then, isusunod ko, you need to put two cups of good chocolate. What I'm using is Belfola Dark Belgian Chocolate. You need two cups. So, ilalagay ko na din yung aking dark chocolate. Siyempre, for example, ay, masyadong mahal ang Belgian chocolate. Ipambebenta ko lang naman. Pwede bang gumamit ako ng mas murang quality na chocolate? Pwede naman. But of course, as you will see, itong recipe na to, makikita nyo mamaya pag ginawa na natin yung cake hindi ka mahalan yung mga ingredients na gagamitin natin doon sa cake. These are very straightforward ingredients. So, dito ka talaga babawi sa icing. That's why my recommendation, okay, kung willing din naman magbayad ng hindi naman mahal, pero tama lang, moderately, yung iyong market. Or, syempre, kung kakainin nyo lang naman ang pamilya sa bahay, bakit hindi ka pa gumamit ng talagang masarap na chocolate? Okay? Ang Belgian chocolate kasi, yung mga European chocolate, talagang they use pure cocoa butter. Okay? Yun yung nagbibigay sa chocolate ng melt in your mouth sensation. Di ba pag kinakain mo, natutunaw sa bibig and sumasaya ka. O di ba? Buti pa ang chocolate, napapasaya ka. Pero kapag fake na chocolate ang iyong ginamit or fake na chocolate ang iyong kinain, okay, mapapansin mo, hindi siya masyadong natutunaw sa bibig. ba? Diba? It feels greasy. Bakit nangyayari yon? Kasi if a chocolate is made using vegetable fat, yan yung tinatawag natin ng compound chocolate, yung mga medyo mas murang klase ng chocolate, Those are called compound chocolate. Gawa sila sa vegetable fat. So, syempre, ang vegetable fat, medyo mas compact. Hindi siya basta-basta nalulusaw kapag ka kinagat mo or kapag ka ninuya mo. So, again, if you have the extra means, gumamit ka ng magandang klaseng chocolate. So, ilapit natin yung camera dito. Makikita mo, once the chocolate has starts to to melt okay, I'm using wire whisk patayin mo na yung apoy na makikita mo diba, it's very nice and I hope naaamoy nyo yan I'm using dark chocolate pinatay ko na yung apoy because I'm not uh, hindi ako mahilig sa sobrang tamis na cakes okay, pagka sinabing dark chocolate yan ay chocolate with 50% and above na cocoa or cacao solids. Anong ibig sabihin nun? O ba diba, minsan pag bumili ka ng tsokolate, nakasulat 72%, 62%, 52%. Ibig sabihin nun, that is, kung sa 100%, 52% ang tsokolate and 48% ang sugar. So, the higher the percentage, mas matapang, mas puro yung chocolate. So today, we are using dark, which is 
52 to 54 percent. Okay? So, lasang-lasa po talaga yung chocolate and hindi ka mamimilo, hindi ka mauumay sa tamis. And then, into this, I'm going to put one fourth cup of salted butter. So, sa mga nagdududa pa sa inyo, paano ba magsukat ng butter? Pag bumili ka ng butter sa supermarket, ang isang ganito, this is 225 grams, one cup ito. Kung kailangan mo ng one fourth, hatiin mo lang siya sa kalahate. Okay? And hatiin mo ulit sa kalahate. Meron ka ng one fourth. Ito is one half. So, yung one fourth, kunin mo, ilagay mo dito sa iyong icing. This one, may natira kang three fourth cup na butter. Okay? So, bakit ko inuna yung icing? Because makikita mo, as of now, medyo runny siya. Habang ipapahinga mo yan dito, lalapot siya ng konti and mas maganda siyang ibuhos sa ibabaw ng inyong cake. So, hataluin ko to hanggang matunaw yung butter and then isusunod ko naman yung chocolate cake. So, ngayon, gagawin naman natin yung cake. O, meron na ako dito aking kodigo kasi magagalit na naman kayo kapag ka hindi nyo nakita agad yung measurements doon sa aking post. Ang paggawa ng cake, mabilis lang yan. Madaming proseso, ang gagamitin natin ngayon is what we call the one stage method. Ibig sabihin, ito yung isa sa pinakamadaling proseso ng paggawa ng cake. Kasi ibubuhos mo lang lahat ng ingredients patungo sa iyong mixing bowl. And you also get surprised, you won't be needing a mixer. Okay? All you need is a clean bowl, a wire whisk, and of course, a strainer. Okay? Or a sifter. So, we start with 2 cups of all-purpose flour. Lahat ng ingredients na ginagamit mo, inalagay mo na sa bowl. Okay? I'm going to give you a tip. Kung paano yung pagkakasulat ng recipe, makikita niyo yan doon sa caption ng video ko. Kung ano yung una sa taas, yun ang una mong ipapasok sa mixing bowl. Bakit? Para hindi ka nakakalimot ng ingredient. Marami sa inyo magme-message or magko-comment, ano kayang nagkamali dito sa ginawa ko? Minsan talaga, wala ka namang ginawang mali. Meron ka lang nakalimutan or meron ka lang maling sukat. For those of you who are beginners in baking, you can go to my YouTube page, YouTube channel, Chef RV Manabat, and look for the crinkle recipe. Yung crinkle recipe na yon, meron ako doon basic uh, 101 kung papaano mag-measure ng ingredients sa baking. So that's 2 cups of purpose flour, 3 fourth cups of cocoa powder, You can use any brand of cocoa powder. If you're a uh, Hershey lover, use Hershey. Kung gusto mo ng ibang brands, Cadbury, pwede rin. I'm using Valrona brand of cocoa powder. Ang cocoa powder kasi, even ingredients in baking, personal preference yan eh. No one can tell you na dapat ganito gamitin mo. We use ingredients, brands, gumagamit tayo ng brands of ingredients, Because they empower us in the kitchen. Na parang, if I'm using Belgian chocolate, it adds to my confidence. Na alam ko na talagang mas masarap yung lalabas na, na produkto ko. But again, it's a personal choice. One and one half teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, kailangan talaga simutin mo yung pampaalsa mo. Leavening agents para yung cake mo maganda ang volume. One and one half teaspoon of baking soda. Bakit parehong meron? Ang baking powder kasi pampaansa yan. Ang baking soda neutralizer. You need to neutralize the mixture so you will get a nice color and nice texture. One teaspoon of salt, iodized salt. Uh... 2 cups of brown sugar. So, pag sinabi brown sugar lang, walang nakalagay na pat, ili-level mo lang yung brown sugar. I'm going to give you a tip. The darker the brown sugar, the more fudgy 
ang lalabas sa chocolate cake mo. Corn oil. I'm using half a cup of corn oil. Pwede bang gumamit ng ibang klaseng mantika? Yes. Huwag ka lang gagamit ng mantika na natutulog. Okay? Anong ibig sabihin nun? Yung mga klase ng mantika na kapag nalamigan, tumitigas. Because that would mean, kapag nilagay mo sa ref yung chocolate cake mo, maniligas din. Sasabihin ng ibang kakain ay luma. Pero they do not understand na that is because of the oil. Okay? And then I have here two cups of water. And I have here one tablespoon of vinegar. I'm using cane vinegar. You can also use white vinegar. Para sa ng suka, the vinegar is a tenderizer for your chocolate cake. It will also balance the recipe. Okay, inyo neutralize niya yung cocoa powder and also the baking soda. It works like magic, okay, for your chocolate cake. Mapapansin mo, super soft and super moist yung cake mo. You put the vinegar and of course the water. So, ang tubig sa chocolate cake, may mga secrets yan. Kung gusto mong yung chocolate cake mo, super heavy, super moist, yung parang pudding na siya sa pagka-moist, you use 2 cups of boiling water. Kung gusto mo naman yung chocolate cake mo is mas fluffy, you use 2 cups of very cold water. Kung gusto mong nasa gitna lang, fluffy pa din, pero super moist, you use 2 cups of room temperature water. Hindi malamig, hindi mainit. That's what I'm using today. Room temperature water. Kasi gusto ko, nasa gitna lang. Para safe. O, diba? And then, I'm going to use a war whisk. I'm just going to mix it. Pag nagmi-mix ka ng cake, kailangan with love. Paano mo malalamang with love? Hindi ka dapat nang gigigil. Kailangan gentle ka. Okay? And you focus. You pay attention. O, diba? Kapag mahal ka ng isang tao, gentle siya and he will pay attention. Baka mamaya may tatamaan ha, magalit kayo, i-bash nyo ako sa comments. Pero that's true. When you're happy, when you're fulfilled, and you bake, mas sumasarap yung produkto mo. Okay? You see? It's nice and smooth. Okay? Huwag mong i-overmix. Pag nasobrahan yan, hindi yan maganda. Lahat ng bagay na nasosobrahan, hindi maganda. Okay? So, it's smooth. And then, Nakikita ko kasi ito sa social media. Nauuso ngayon yung mga cakes na binibake sa mga ganitong aluminum containers. Di ba dati nauso yung nasa lata? Why? Because it's very, very accessible. First, kung wala kang baking pan sa bahay, no problem. And lesser than yung hugasan. So today, I am using, this is, sinukat ko siya kanina, 12 by 10 na aluminum pan. Again, this is a 12 by 10 aluminum pan disposable. Paano yan? Gusto ko mas maliit. Pwede kang gumamit ng dalawang 8 inches or dalawang 6 inches na disposable pan. Pwede mo din siyang i-bake sa tunay na baking pan. Dalawang pirasong 8 inches round or square pan. Okay? You get your strainer and isalin mo siya papunta sa pan. Bakit kailangan strainer? Because cocoa powder and brown sugar can be lumpy. May mga lumps. So to remove the lumps, you need to strain it. Okay? And then, you're going to bake this in a preheated 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven. Kung hindi Fahrenheit yung oven mo, you can use gas number 3 or kung Celsius, 170 degrees. Okay, ganong katagal? 35 minutes or until the center of the cake is almost firm when you touch it. An ano yung almost firm? Buksan mo yung kamay mo. Okay? Pagka hinawakan mo itong part na to, or I don't know what it's called, no? Uh, pag hinawakan mo itong part na to, 
ng iyong palm malambot, di ba? Pag sinaram mo yung daliri mo, sinaram mo yung uh, kamay mo, hinawakan mo ulit, this is almost firm. Okay? So again, buksan mo. When you touch it, it's soft. Hindi pa luto yung cake. Pag sinaram mo yan, you touch it, yung ibabaw ng cake, it's almost firm. Luto na yun. You will not wait for the cake to become super firm kasi madadry na yon. Okay, so makikita mo yung mga lumps, oh. Ayan yung mga lumps na sa id mo. And then, of course, simutin mo yung ilalim. This goes into the oven. I'm going to bake this. And then I'm going to show you later the finished product after 35 minutes or until almost firm. Yung gitna, yung ahawakan mo ha. So I'll see you after I bake this. So after 40 minutes, around 40 minutes in the oven, magtataka ka minsan, the baking time varies. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na palagang eksakto 40 minutes, 42 minutes, hindi ganun yun. Because if you're baking one piece of cake, katulad nito, 35 to 40 minutes luto na yan. Pero if I double the recipe and I bake three pans, pinuno ko yung oven ko, mas madami yung nag-aagaw ng init sa loob ng oven. So, mas tatagal ang baking time. That's why, remember, it's very important that you learn how to check the doneness of the cake just by touching it. Mabilis na touch lang ngayon. So, see? Makikita mo to almost firm and dry. Diba? Tuyo na yung ibabaw niya. And it's almost firm when you touch. Malamig na ng konti to. Pinalamig ko na ng mga 15 minutes sa labas. And then, this is my ganache. Okay? Ibubuhos ko lang siya lahat sa ibabaw. Look. If you're wondering kung bakit nasa uh, cooling rack ito, nilagay ko siya sa cooling rack, it's because ang cake, pagkabagong luto, pagkahango mo, you need to put it on a cooling rack, something like this, para nakakahinga yung ilalim. Okay? Para pantay, balanced yung paglamig ng iyong uh, cake. Kung wala ka namang cooling rack, pwede mo siyang ibuhos, ipatong lang sa ibabaw ng stove mo. So now, what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to let it set. Iiwang ko yan dito sa labas for around an hour. And then I'm going to put it inside the fridge to let it mature. That is very important. You want to let your cakes mature. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Mas kitakam na takam ka ng kainin yan ngayon, maghintay ka muna. Ang bagay na mas matagal hinihintay, okay, mas matagal pinagpapaguran, mas worth it yan. So, you wait for this to mature so that the cake and the icing will have a proper marriage. Ibig sabihin, when you eat it later, katulad nung nakita ninyo dun sa video, yung aking teaser, when you eat it, yung cake super moist and yung icing dumidikit na sa kanya maski gooey pa rin. And then paglamig niya ng konti, you just dust it with good cocoa powder as decoration. So let's assume na lumamig na yan. Okay? Pero kung hindi ka naman makapagpigil, ba? Ayan na yung bisita mo sa labas. Ayan na yung kapitbahay mo na naging best friend mo during quarantine season. Nung hindi pa quarantine, hindi kayo nag-uusap. Ah, diba? So, ayan na siya. Nag-doorbell siya. Siyempre, pakakainin mo siya ng cake. Dahil medyo mainit pa yan, you can call it, oh, this is a super moist chocolate lava cake. Oh my gosh. Okay? You see how moist it is? Makikita mo yung cake, oh. Moist na moist. Pag lumamig yan, mas lalapot yung icing and mas magiging fudgy. O, nagsara ulit siya. Hindi halata na kumuha ka, ba? So, I'm going to taste it. Mmm. 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 
pumunta na kayo sa supermarket on your scheduled uh, scheduled grocery hours or I'm sure marami sa inyo ang may ingredients na sa pantry this cake is so good and I shared it to you because I want you to be happy and productive at home see you again next time take care and God bless